hey guys welcome back to another video it's your girl abby and i'm here to put on a wig today attempt to put on a wig today okay as you guys can see i already have my wig cap on i sprayed it down with some guts to be glue spray and disclaimer okay i have put a wig on my head before i have put wigs on my head before However, I have not put on a wig cap with those wigs. When I'm doing wigs by myself, I don't use this wig cap because the reason why is because I don't expect to keep the wigs on that I put on my head personally. I don't expect to keep them on for more than a day. Or if I'm going somewhere and my head, my hair looks really bad, that's the only time I would apply a wig to my head. But if I'm going to do it professionally, no, I would let the wig stay on for a while. But because of the fact that I know that when I get home, I'm just going to snatch it off. I don't usually put the wig, the wig cap on. So this is my first time actually putting on a wig cap with a wig. I don't know anything about it. So I'm just trying. So yeah, I already sprayed it. So I'm just trying to press it down so that I can cut it. I watched um, some YouTube videos on, on how to do this, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So, yeah, so welcome to my channel, guys. If you're new, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to comment and share with your friends. Put a girl on, okay? yes all right so in this video as well i will be telling you guys my labor and delivery story for my son we're gonna start with my son i'm gonna give you guys the other story with my daughter in a different video so we're gonna start with my son today but before we get into that let me try to put this wig cap down so that I can focus a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I'm no professional. I'm just trying to do my thing. So, yeah. And by the way, I won't be using a professional glue, glue today. I would be using just the got to be glue spray. And because, and that's because I don't have the glue to use. I don't have that glue because like I said, I don't, I cannot put my wigs on properly. So I don't bother to buy the, the glue that's going to hold it down like for, for a week or two weeks because that's just going to rip on my edges because when I put my wigs on, I take them off the, the other day because them no go on good, right? So i to keep them on. And then sometimes they just come off themselves the other day. Because, as we say, they don't go on good. But I'm going to try my best with this one today, though. Yeah. So this is like my third spray. So I think that should be enough. So I'm just going to allow it to dry down. And then we're going to go in with the wig. Let me show you guys the wig and what it looks like. So I already installed this wig already and it still has a little kitchen up style up here. So it's not gonna be that hard to install. It still have a little bit of edges. I'm gonna have to fix that and a little leave out at the front. This is the other side. So this is what it looks like. It's a body wave. Yeah, it's a body wave. I think it's like, how many inches wig is this? I think it's like a 20 inch I think it's like a 20 inch bust down yeah not really a bust down but like a 20 inch wig so yeah guys don't do what I do okay this is not safe to do this with a scissors but I'm just trying to get this down 
I'm trying to make sure that it sticks down because when I cut it, I don't want to have no problem. Like, no, certain parts not glued down. And I don't have a tail comb. I only have... I only have this comb. It's not a tail comb, but it's pretty fine. So I can get the little hairs with it. Excuse me. So I think I cut here. Mm -hmm. Place that down some more. Mm -hmm. I cut here. Come on. And then I pull this back. You see, don't use scissors to do this. But anyways, y'all, I'ma get it cut and then once it, the glue is dried, I'ma come back and then we're gonna cut it together. So, okay, so let's start my story. Okay, so let's let's start um, when I started labor, right? So my son was born on September 29th. 2015 i went into labor on the 28th of september and that was the night before like i take you another night right so i didn't know when my due date well i got when i had when i did the ultra stone my due date would have should have been october my son came earlier than that so I was not expecting him to come that early anyways i started to feel it in the night i started to have a craving for gummy bears um i went to the shops in my community they did not have any gummy bears so i asked one of my brothers to go down to the crossroad where the big shops are hold on i'm trying to cut yeah. Hold on, guys. So, yeah, I asked one of my brothers to go down to the crossroad to get me some gummy bears because I was really craving the gummy bears. And then they got it for me. And then when I went over back to my house, I was laying in the bed and I was watching TVG right I was watching tv jano i was so tormented the whole night because when i went down when i went to get my brother to um get the gummy bear for me i went down there like three times and i came back up i went down i came back up he was in the yard i came i went in the yard they were sitting like you know talking chilling out in the yard and everything i went down there they were talking I left I came back up in the house I went again three times guys anyways the last time I went I told him to get the gummy bear for me he went and he got the gummy bear I went back over to my house I went to my bed I laid down I went over, and I was watching TVG mm -hmm. and then I was just tormented I got up I sit up I roll over I was just uncomfortable you know, I wasn't feeling any pain yet, you know. I was just very uncomfortable and I was just tormented the whole night. I just feel miserable, guys. Anyways, I was there now and I was watching TVJ and when I ate the gummy bears, I started to feel some pain. Like I went into um at the dilation process started. Dilation is um when the baby is starting to push down into the cervix. Yeah, that's dilation. So I started to feel like mild pains at first it was like it was like eight something in the night it was pretty early it was not it was not very late and i started to feel the mild pains and i feel like it was because of the gummy bears that i ate i was like i wonder if the gummy bears them like i do something to my body i don't know but i didn't i was not even thinking that it was the baby coming because my duty should have been October, okay? Anyways, the, the, I was there feeling the pains and stuff. It was like five seconds. Like the pain lasted five seconds. I went away, came back like another five minutes. And I was there and I was just bearing through it, watching my TV, same way, everything. 
I was there for a few minutes and then the pain started to get worse and worse. And I'm like, what is this? Remember, you know, it's my first child. I was very young. I was 18. I was, yeah, I was 18. I was 18. I got pregnant. I feel like I got pregnant around the January era. Yeah, I got pregnant in January. I had my son in September. Because my due date should have been. Anyways, that's a long story. That's a long story. Let's not get into that. Anyways. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so where was I? I was starting to feel the pain more and more. So I went to get my mom and I told her, hey. I'm start. I'm feeling some pain, and like I don't know what it is. And my mom was like, "What kind of pain?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Like, I some cramp, and it come on and go off. Come on and go off." I was so young. I didn't know nothing about that stuff. So my mom said, "I wonder if I could give um have baby." And she was, I was like, I don't know, I don't think so. And she was like, well, come on, let's go to the hospital because maybe a baby will come. And I said, okay, fine. So I wasn't wearing any clothes really. I was just in my bed. So I went into the bathroom. I was, I wanted to pee. So I went into the bathroom now, guys, to pee and put on some clothes and stuff. When I went into the bathroom, disclaimer, if you're not, um, if you don't want to hear about the gross part of pregnancy, please just skip this part. So, as you guys know, there is, um, as you females might know, and some males, when you're, when you're, when you're going to have the baby, right, there's a cervix plug. We have a cervix plug that once the baby is starting to dilate down, the head is going to push under the cervix plug is to prevent any bacteria from going into the placenta to harm the baby so when the baby is coming down now the baby's head is going to push down on the on the plug and it's going to pop out right you guys with me so you're going to see some slimy things in your underwear that's how you know that you are about to have your baby I went to the bathroom and I saw that in my underwear. I was like, mommy, what is this? And she called me and she looked and she said, you're going to have the baby now? And I'm like, what? Girl, I was so excited. Like, me I feel the pain them, but me now, me now feel like no pain, like me I go ball and you know, me just feel happy. Me, I was like, I was so happy to know that I was gonna have my baby and I was just smiling and everything. I called my brother now. Because I didn't live with my boyfriend at the time, you know. I called my brother No, He was at his house, not far from my house. He came, he picks me up, him and his girlfriend. They came and he picked me up and he brought me to the hospital. Guys, they, the people that put on my excitement to hospital. For Cornwall Regional Hospital. They put on an excitement for me. They call the security. Yo, yo, yo. Come, come, come. Shut up, baby. Shut up, baby. People them run come with wheelchair, you know, guys. Wheelchair, you know. Them tell me I not feel no heap of pain or nothing, you know. All me know is that the mucus plug come out, so I got a baby. That's it. Anyways, they put me in a wheelchair, they put me in an elevator, and they carry me up to the delivery ward. I was sitting there for a while, you now, waiting with my suitcase. Because I did pack my suitcase and everything already, already, you know. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Anyways, I got up there and I was sitting there waiting because you know you have to sit and wait for them to call it because there's a lot of mothers there and stuff. So they called me now. I gave them my book, my maternal book, stuff like that, stuff like that. They registered and everything. When I got into the examination room now, girls, moms, if you know you know the examination room is like having a baby twice you see when they're examining your 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 they are um examining your dilation to see how far 
how far you are like they test they they have to put their fingers up into your bb and they have to search and find how far it is right i was not bleeding when i went to the hospital guys but yes, one time I'm going to the examination room and the woman pushed on her hand down. Dear, um, big old, listen. I was four centimeters dilated when they tested me. I went on the, I went straight into the delivery room. I went straight into the delivery room. I was under, directly under the AC. I brought my own sheet, my own pillows, everything. I put up my bed. I don't feel, I don't really feel no hip pain. After I come out of the examination room, I don't feel no hip pain or nothing yet, you know. I was, the pain was in the examination room when she was doing all of that to see how far I was. But after she took it out, everything was like, I was feeling some more pain, in, the pain intensified a little bit, but not too much. So anyways, I went into the room, I put on my nightgown, I put out my bed slippers, you know me, I dollop and everything ready to deliver it now when not everything you know put out my baby clothes i'm like a receiver i'm like a pampas i'm like everything i'm like an olive oil every little thing put out pretty up on my little table right there so and then my light on and i'm in my, and my ac and i'm in my bed just the like this on my pillow you know and i was there waiting anyways now the nurse come in and because i paid for a nurse you know you see, if you want good treatment of a hospital, you have to pay for one nurse. Because they treat you like shit. They treat, they, they treat mothers like shit in the hospital. It's when you have bad for pain, them tell her, literally, shut shut the hell up. Like, you wasn't crying when you was taking that tea. Like, shut up. You know, they're not paying away. So if you want, they don't actually listen to you. And come check on your sister dead or alive. You have to give them my money. So anyways, my pay for one nurse. Mm -hmm. So, don't bother this like it can't, okay. So she come now, right? And she put me upon one drip. What was it called? Oxytocin. She said that was to speed up the dilation process. So that the baby can come down faster. So... I want me to do, I wonder if me to do this thing right, do a God. Well, on there. Let me, let me do it this way. Okay. Oh, shit. I wonder if me to do this thing right, do. Oh, mm-mm. I'm going to talk, I'm going to pay attention to what me to do. Mm-mm. So. Yeah, anyway, the girl come now and she put me upon. She put me upon the drip and stuff you see when she put me upon the drip push down one something on my hand was it here i think it was here and here oh, oh shit i almost dropped y'all so i put they put a drip here and they put one here no they put one here first when i was leaving no they put one here anyways so then put me upon the drip now that's when the pain started to kick in. Guys. I'm start calling for nurse every five seconds. My first birth was the hardest. I'm selling it over God. The pain never did normal. Like it was unbearably terrible. And I'm not even joking. Okay. Okay. Period. Like, okay. One side down. Let's get this other side now. Okay. Mm. So, anyways, then put me up on the drip from when the pain start intensified. So, I'm gonna start ball, I'm a ball, I'm a ball, I'm a ball. Anyways. I went into labor at nine something. I got to the hospital at about two ten, 
and I had my son at 2.40 a.m. How many hours was I was I in labor? So call it say 10 o'clock. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. Remember what? 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours and 40 minutes. I was in pain for 4 hours and 40 minutes, guys. I was a balling. One of the time, me I cause up be a bad word in the people, them hospital, the nurse and mother. Stop with the bad words, or else nobody's gonna assist you. You know what I did? I started to call down on Jesus. I was like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I had to like cry because it was so unbearable. Like the pain, come on, ever like. It was from five to seconds to every three seconds. Like I have a one second breather. Boy. And I was going through that for four hours, nearly five hours, bro. Anyways, no. Then come check me. My dilation again. <laughs> right? So yeah, them come check my dilation again and finally now, well them check me about a couple times. The final one now, I was ready to push. I was there pushing and pushing. Nothing not happen. Like the baby now come out. So what they had to do now was um I don't know why the baby wasn't coming out, but they like mother push and I'm like I'm pushing bro don't you see I'm sweating here like what, what am I supposed to do I can't do nothing so then did they know I don't mean, know what them go discuss them go call the doctor right so the doctor come now which was a man he was he was them should have called the doctor from the beginning because I don't know what them the nurse they did I do waste time anyways the doctor come now i'm trying to cut the wick up as close to my hairline because that's what i see these girlies be doing um so oh shit my handicap in okay Yeah, so now I'll cut it to the as close to the hairline as possible. So that it can just sit down. Yeah. Part one go. Hold on there guys. Let's fix the wig cap. Anyways, I'm called the doctor now. And the doctor came in. The doctor just come in and ready for work, you know. The doctor said, Alright, baby. Alright, baby, man, are you ready now? I said, I'm ready, doctor. Did the man come over me, you know. See me lie down on the bed or so. The man come up or so. Right? And the man go so. I'm going to say, in my stomach. Up or so. In my stomach, you know. I push on I must after three one two three push and go push the man about two three three do three, three push and push or two me uh plop, the baby lay out me tell her say the you nurse know, them have to grab up the baby quick because it's one time I push the baby just I know it alone pop out first you know that I with my daughter but so me I push out my daughter the head pop out first and then just her body come after so me I push out my son, my son just fly out. <coughs> the swing, the string I got on the bed. So the nurse I'm have to grab him up. I said, "Thank you, Jesus." As the man done, the man gone. Like me, no time I waste. It's a good job, mother. Gone, my gone, my gone. Them hold up the baby, saying at the ear, mother, what kind of baby? 
I said, boy. And then my driver said, my just knock out. I knocked out like I was gone. Them carrying pan of water and stuff for me wipe up and stuff. I didn't even know when the lady brought it in, to be honest. I just I was sleeping. Um when she came back, she was like, you know, you know, wipe up yourself. I'm not here, Mr. Mm, just I wake up. I got like I was tired, bro. And I lost so much blood. It was oh my what the fuck is that? I lost so much blood during my delivery. I could not remember anything. Like you know, when you just have baby, and you lose a lot of blood. You cannot remember nothing. So you want to know so when the woman come right, the lady that brought the water and stuff for me to clean up and everything. She came and she put it down and I was sleeping at the time. She come back. When she come back, I just woke up. And I was like, okay, I'm going to clean up and stuff now. The lady went away, right? When the woman come back, I just wake up back again. Because as she leaves, so, I don't know when I knock out again. I knocked out. I went in. Bongo jungle. Okay, let's catch this here. I knocked out again. So when she come back the second time, I woke up the same time that she came up. She was like, you don't do this yet? And I'm like, no. She said, okay, I'm going come again. She went away. I'm going to just get my little time and I'm going to get my soap. I'm going to get my little rag. I'm going to clean up myself. I'm clean up my little self and my wipe up and I put on me. My pad and... Put my, my one fresh nighty ready to get my baby now. I you know, I go back in my bed, change my sheet and everything. You know, go back in my bed now. Lay down, I wait for them to carry my baby. Come the woman come for the pan and stuff, and she start wipe up the floor. And I was like, Where's my baby? And she was like, You didn't get a baby yet? And I'm like, No, anyways. She went away. I said she come back. So I put on my little slippers on my bedside. I jump off of the bed. I'm going to go around at the front. I'm going to say, I'm going to go to my baby, my baby there. Then I say, you going to get a baby yet? I'm like, mm-mm. So she told the other nurse, she was like, get this little baby care, come give her. So they went and I go back in my bed. I'm ready to meet my baby now in that guys. <laughs> I was so happy. But they just happy like. I was so happy. So anyways, they got the baby. They got my baby and they brought him to me. He was so fat and so little and red. With him little fat face. Anyways, no. I'm telling you this apart now. I'm bracing myself. Wait, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come out the wig. Alright, guys. I'm back. So, so yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so all I needed to get was my stitches. So anyways, now, um, later on down in the afternoon hours now, um, they called me and said I needed to come. You know, after my bed up, because I got a bathroom and everything, you know, I'm bed up and everything. Because, and also, what I didn't know was, when I was going to the bathroom now, you have to put your baby in like a little saddle at the doorway you can't bring the baby in the bathroom and you can't leave the baby on the bed i was like what i'm supposed to do what i'm supposed to do i need to go bed so they gave me a little saddle to put the baby in and i put him in there and i went and bed off and you know freshen up myself put on my nice little color one fix up my ear all of that stuff right and then i go bed after my bed off now them still need to come and the stitches not doctor come now you know so i have to go in and stuff and get my stitches so i put the baby down in the little cradle and i went in the in the room and she numbed the area my teller said that the numbing gel they never work or whatever she used one injection she inject some numbing something in me and that never right because i feel every nigga joke me feel every nigga joke like my feet, everything. It was so. Just imagine a nigga, 
appears through your skin through your skin unbearable anyways I'm gonna bear it she stitched me up and I came out walking like this like umpty dumpty literally I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take up my baby when I stitch up I'm gonna stitch up I'm gonna have to take her up I'm gonna have to walk with her go back into the little bed now the little bed when I cannot stretch out my foot them in there and mind you I was so uncomfortable I have stitches I have a baby I sob I must sleep I'm not giving me no trouble to be honest but the bed pack up because I have my suitcase upon the bed because I brought a suitcase with my stuff there a small suitcase I had it at the bottom of the bed there so my tell bro that was so fuck it's so not nice like my first one the experience was it wasn't horrible but it was not the best bro mm -mm. so anyway you know them stitch me up and i'm gonna go back go lay down in the bed now mm -hmm. so when i lay down there you know i was just waiting on them to like get my things ready so that i can leave because my baby daddy and my family already came to pick me up at the hospital. They were waiting outside and I was like, I'm ready to go. Like they came, they saw the baby. I had to bring the baby outside so they weren't able, they weren't allowed to come in the ward. But um I, I took my son out there. They saw him. I had to come back inside because I was not yet released. I still had the the the, the jokes in my hand here, so one bag of things. So so yeah so i was there i want to try to fix the this part i'm gonna try and do this i don't know what i'm gonna do y'all i'm going good so far i'm doing a good job so far i'm gonna try to install a new wig one of these days i see how good my skills are and stop yeah so yeah so now I took my son to see everybody outside and I came back inside waiting for them to discharge me and stuff. So I was there waiting and everything and then I went to them, they weren't they weren't paying me any money. So I had to take matters into my own hands. So I went to the front desk and I was like, what's going on? And my baby peed, he he do pee poo pooed. Um all of that. So what's going on? They're like, okay, okay, they're gonna get the nurse to come and discharge me. So the nurse come now and she write up one bag of things and she take up me something with my hand. They make me sign my little paper. All of that. And then I went um into the other part there. So and that's when I registered my baby. Me and his daddy. We went there, we sat down, we told her what we want the name to be and everything. She put down the name and stuff and stuff and yeah we got the um the little red paper where you bring to a birth certificate place and give it to them and that's how you get the original birth paper we got that this one catch up a little bit about my friend for lose it out and i can't many know over the list you know I don't want to lose it out now and I don't know what to do. So I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to tighten it. Yeah. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. I'm going to flatter it it over. So. Yeah. So anyways guys. Hold on let me get a flat iron and come back. Guys I cannot find my flat iron. I have this one here right but the cord is not long enough to go over there so you all won't see me so i'm gonna go back to the flat iron thing my, my, my original flat iron on my always use i'm gonna wait there i'm gonna kill myself i'm not so anyway registered my baby and we headed out and yeah my just i just came home 
I didn't have any appetite. You know, oh, mothers always say they are very hungry after having birth. I did not have that experience. I was, I didn't have no appetite for like a week after giving birth. I had no appetite. I had zero appetite. Like, I couldn't eat nothing. I never hungry. Nothing at all. After like two weeks, three weeks, my appetite came back. And I started to eat on a whole place. Like, yeah. So I went home with my baby. My dad, he was the first one to hold him. Um, yeah, like it was so it was it was a happy moment for me and the family. And yeah, that's all. That's the that's the story. So my daughter's um delivery story now. Total opposite. My son story. I'ma have to do her story in another video. I think I'm going to do her story in a makeup tutorial video. So let me know if you guys want to see that video. Leave it down here in the comments and let me know. Because her story is totally different from his. But it's, a st it's pr still a pretty good story. So yeah, guys. That's it. That's all the story there is. And everything. May I go? Do my edges now, but I'm going to make this sit for a little bit more. Do my edges. And then I'm going to show y'all what the wig is giving after. So, I think it can come off now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yes, I'm tight. Let's see what it's giving. I'm going to do the edges and then I'm going to tight down back. So, yeah. This is what it's giving. You know, I have an edge brush, but for fine it, I don't know. I don't know why nothing there because... Yeah, I can't, but I have to pick them enough time to remember about things. I don't got the time. I got shit to do. Yes, I have some glue. It was murky, but we're going to get that out. I'm going to try to comb out the edges them so I can soften them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what it is. Let's just come through. I'm going to put some music on here so for no guys because I'm wanting to see everything. I'm not going to skip no step. I'm just going to put on some music so, me. so just go and build and look. Yeah. Tell me what how I did. Whew. Period. Okay. 
period. Hold on, let me fix this as a soup here. I just tucked it behind my ears. I don't really want nothing in my face. Yeah, the edges are not the best, but I did my little thing. Yeah, I like it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Did I do a good job? Do you guys have any tips that I could use to make my next install better than this one? Please let me know. I accept any advice, whether it's good, bad, whatever. I want to know so yeah guys please let me know what you guys think yeah this is she what is she giving she's giving like a cute little schoolgirl vibe and I'm living for it okay period so yeah this is the end of today's little story time I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So I hope to see you guys in my next clip that I upload. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, share with your friends. Love you guys. See you again in the next video. Bye.